People say to me all the time that when you're living the life you're living as a Christian, good things always happen to you. And I say that's not always true. Sometimes bad things happen, but it's what you do with what happens bad that makes all the difference in life. Today I'm going to tell you a story of my family this Christmas, the Christmas puppy. My granddaughter wanted one thing for Christmas. She wanted a puppy. We have a dog now. It's a Border Collie, but it's about 13 years of age, and it sleeps most of the time. It's an adorable dog. But she wants a dog that she can interact with and walk and play with. So I finally agreed. Let me tell you, it's been a long time she's been asking for a puppy. And I said, this is the Christmas, you'll get that. Well, we went to the SPCA in Houston, Texas to look at the puppies. Beautiful facility, wonderful people. And they told me, right now we're having a puppy adoption in the Galleria Mall in downtown Houston in the main window of Neiman Marcus. Now, you've heard the songs of the puppy in the window, and, well, it was a surreal Christmas experience. Carolers in the background in the mall. Christmas music. And there is this adorable puppy. And everyone dressed in elf costumes and so on. Well, I fell in love. And my whole family fell in love. My granddaughter especially fell in love. And then they invited us into the window. And there we were in the window at Neiman Marcus looking at this puppy, holding it with crowds around, waving to us, saying, Merry Christmas, you need to adopt that puppy. Well, we did. And the puppy lived for two days after that. It had a genetic disorder, and it was a, a tragedy, really a tragedy that hit my family. We were all in tears. We were beside ourselves. But, you know, I say something to people all the time. Don't get defined by tragedy. Get beyond that, no matter how bad it is. And this is something I taught to my granddaughter. I tell people all the time, don't cry because it's over. Smile because it happened. You've got to take yourself back from the tragedy and to the experience in the window and also this experience. We had that puppy and the puppy came into our life so we could bless it. That puppy was loved. That puppy was cared for. We took the puppy to an animal hospital and then my own personal vet and we did everything within our power to, to save the puppy and then in the end to comfort the puppy uh, as it went into organ failure and so on. But that's not the end of the story. See, it never is unless you live in the tragedy. One of the greatest things that you can give to yourself is getting beyond the bad times. And we did. We kept looking for a puppy after that. And, uh, and my granddaughter and family said, we're not ready yet. And I said, oh, yes, uh, you've got to get back on the horse. And uh, I was the reluctant one towards the puppy. Now I'm pushing towards a puppy. And we, last night, I'm happy to say, we adopted or reserved a golden retriever puppy that was just born the first week of December. And it, uh, you can't see much yet. It's still just a basic infant. But we'll get to go back over the next eight weeks and visit it every couple weeks and bond with it and then we'll take it home on in February and and have that little dog join our family and it will be a happy time it will be a time filled with just joy 
personified. And that's the way life is. That's the way life must be. You have to give yourself and those around you the Christmas experience of, of new birth, of uh, new vitality and life in your life. I pray that you have a Merry Christmas, and I pray that it is filled with new experiences and new joy.